Agroforestry, Enriching Our Lives with Trees That Work. This presentation will cover the five recognized agroforestry practices currently being adopted and used in the U.S. and its territories. This presentation was developed by the USDA's National Agroforestry Center. This presentation will answer three questions. What is agroforestry? What are the benefits of agroforestry? And where is additional information on agroforestry? Simply put, agroforestry is the combination of traditional agriculture and conventional forestry, hence the word agroforestry. Building on this simple definition, agroforestry is the intentional combining of agriculture and working trees to create sustainable farming systems. In agroforestry systems, trees or shrubs and their products are intentionally used within ag systems, livestock, or forest. Agricultural knowledge, careful selection of species, and good management of trees and crops are needed to optimize the production and positive effects within the system and to minimize negative competitive effects. Agroforestry systems can be advantageous over conventional agricultural and forest production methods through increased productivity, improved economic benefits, and social outcomes in the enhanced ecological goods and services provided. This unique management approach is used worldwide today, although underutilized in the U.S. Midwest. Agroforestry systems have a wide range of applications that lead to clean water and air, safe and healthy food, abundant life, beautiful places, clean renewable energy, and sustainable family farms and ranches. Agroforestry practices also make economic sense. Protection and enhancement of existing crop or livestock production systems can increase income. However, more intensive management of agroforestry systems can also create alternative crops that help to diversify risk as well as create additional income. Of course, with a more intensified production system comes the need for increased technical and marketing skills, developed on-farm or provided from off-farm sources. As an added bonus, agroforestry practices are eligible for cost share or land rental payments, although availability will vary by state and program. As noted earlier, agroforestry incorporates technology from agriculture and forestry. Expertise in both areas are needed. Neither can be ignored if an agroforestry system is to function properly and provide the desired benefits. In the U.S., agroforestry practices are generally grouped into five categories. Alley cropping, silvopasture, forest farming, sometimes called multi-story cropping, riparian forest buffers, and windbreaks. Special applications or products can be added to any agroforestry practice to further enhance its utility and use. Although agroforestry technology can be utilized to address other on-farm and community issues, these five are the primary applications of agroforestry technology. Regardless of the practice, agroforestry means putting the right plant in the right place for the right purpose. Windbreaks are a familiar agroforestry practice and applied in many areas of the country. The concept behind windbreaks is not new. They are also referred to as shelter belts and have been used extensively in the United States since the Dust Bowl era of the 1930s. A windbreak's major function is to mitigate wind speed. Therefore, a windbreak can be defined as any living barrier that reduces troublesome winds by creating a wind shadow to the leeward or downwind side. An agroforestry windbreak is one that utilizes single or multiple rows of trees and or shrubs that are integrated into crop, livestock, or human activities. There are also increasingly expanding array of issues that windbreaks are being asked to address. Past efforts have been concentrated on the use of field windbreaks to prevent soil erosion, protect crops from drying winds, and deflect blowing snow from roadways. Today, windbreaks are being used for a variety of purposes to increase yields of ag fields, 
reduce energy needs around farmsteads and livestock, control dust and odors, and provide environmental services for rural communities. Windbreaks offer a multitude of benefits, from reducing energy costs to sequestering carbon. It's important to remember that not all benefits can be achieved from all windbreaks. Different farm, ranch, and community needs require different windbreak designs, which provide varying types and levels of benefits. A good windbreak design, however, will create multiple benefits and mitigate multiple concerns. Second agroforestry practice is alley cropping. Alley cropping is growing an annual or perennial crop simultaneously in the alleyways between rows of a long-term tree crop. Alley cropping systems provide a way to lower risk by diversifying production. In alley cropping, an agricultural crop is grown simultaneously with a long-term tree crop to provide annual income while the tree crop matures. Fine quality hardwoods like walnut, pecan, and oak are typical species in the temperate zone and can produce high-value lumber or veneer logs. When nut-bearing trees or shrubs are used, they can provide an intermediate product for sale. Most row crops and grains, as well as specialty crops, such as taro or St. John's wort, have been shown to grow well in an alley cropping system. In addition to improving annual and long-term cash flow, alley cropping systems also protect annual crops, reduce soil erosion, improve water quality, utilize nutrients, and enhance wildlife habitat, while improving landscape aesthetics. An agroforestry system that is gaining popularity, especially in the southeast area of the United States with pine trees, is silvopasture. Silvopasture systems promote good forest management while generating forage production in the understory that is suitable for livestock grazing. Research has documented that many cool and warm season grasses and legumes yield high levels of quality forage when grown under as much as 50% conifer shade. High-value saw logs can be grown as long-term products while on the same acre as an annual income can be generated from livestock grazing. The concept of silvopasture takes advantage of the inherent differences in trees and grasses. Trees and grasses capture light and exploit soil resources differently. Trees are planted less densely than they would under a typical forest management plan to allow about half the sunlight to reach the understory forage crop. Silvopasture systems can be initiated by planting trees into an existing pasture, or for landowners who have existing woodlots, they can be thinned and pruned to allow about half the light to reach the understory. It should be noted that silvopasture is a managed system and is not simply letting the cows out into the woodlot. Whether going from a pasture to a silvopasture system or from a forest to a silvopasture system, the outcome is similar. Typical benefits include improved plant vigor, lower animal stress, reduced wildfire risk, improved wildlife habitat, annual income from grazing or hay, pine straw or hunting, and long-term income. Existing woodlots can be developed in as little as one year. In a silvopasture system, it is important to manage the grazing. Most farmers divide the land into several parcels and then rotate the livestock at frequent intervals. This system has been shown to work well in southern pines and is now being expanded to hardwood species. A third agroforestry practice that is suitable for many areas of the United States with tree cover is forest farming or multi-story cropping. Many high-value specialty crops are now being cultivated under the protection of a forest canopy that has been modified to provide the appropriate microclimate and light conditions. To support this practice, timber stand improvement activities are carried out to develop the appropriate understory conditions, like thinning less desirable stems and pruning lower branches on the eventual crop trees. This can also result in the production of clean, not free wood of higher value as a long-term economic strategy. Shade-tolerant crops like ginseng, shiitake mushrooms, and decorative ferns are being grown and sold for medicinal, culinary, or ornamental uses. Other specialty crops include pine straw, coffee, and sugar maple syrup. 
Forest farming benefits include improved value of existing forests, diversification of income, and increased cash flow. No single special forest product has the potential to change the face of American farms and forests. A few may have sufficient market potential to be grown widely on a regional or national level. These will be the exception, though, rather than the rule. Forest farming products can include medicinals, handicrafts, decoratives, and food products. Many special forest products will be produced for niche markets at local or regional levels. With many of them, the true value of the plant will not be realized by producers unless they are willing to invest time and perhaps money into post-harvest processing and marketing of the product. The majority of the value comes when the plant, whether that's the root, foliage, branch, or fruit, is transformed into a product that meets a consumer demand. Here are some of the products that are currently being grown and collected for sale to local, regional, and national markets. Another common agroforestry practice is riparian forest buffers. This practice has been applied in every state and U.S. territory. Riparian forest buffers are natural or planted woodlands adjacent to water bodies. They are designed with trees, shrubs, and grasses to protect water resources from non-point source pollution. Riparian buffer strips are typically applied on sites with good soils because of their position on the landscape. Riparian forest buffers can be used to protect streams and square up fields. Much of the loss of water quality in the U.S. has been shown as a result from non-point source pollution from agricultural activities. Practices like cropping and grazing often occur up to the edges of streams, lakes, ponds, and wetlands. The result is a loss of aquatic habitat and high levels of sediment and chemical inputs which lower water quality. Riparian forest buffer systems consisting of grasses, shrubs, and trees have been shown to be an effective strategy for improving water quality by intercepting sediments, filtering excess nutrients, and degrading pesticides. They can also stabilize stream banks, protect floodplains, enhance aquatic and terrestrial habitats, and provide landowners with harvestable products. An example of agroforestry practices with special applications are short rotation trees and shrubs in block or linear plantings in alley cropping and riparian forest buffer systems. These special applications or products can be added to any agroforestry practice to further enhance its utility use and function. Other special applications that can be added to or incorporated in agroforestry practices include edible food plants wildlife habitat enhancements, and dust control. Now let's see what agroforestry practices can do for a farm or ranch. With simple but well-placed applications, we can grow from a horizontal production farm to a multi-layered vertical farm and open up a multitude of opportunities for additional farm and ranch income, environmental services, while at the same time providing long-term sustainability. Agroforestry is the intentional combining of agriculture and working trees to create sustainable farming systems. Agroforestry systems have a wide range of applications that lead to clean water and air, safe and healthy food, abundant wildlife, beautiful places, clean renewable energy, and sustainable family farms and ranches. There are many other sources of information on agroforestry. Practicing landowner, resource professionals, libraries, and the web. Websites are especially useful and accessible. A number of websites are available to provide more detailed information on alley crappie systems. Here are a few. This presentation was developed by the USDA's National Agroforestry Center in Lincoln, Nebraska. The National Agroforestry Center is a USDA partnership between the U.S. Forest Service and the Natural Resources Conservation Service.